All right, now in this video, what I want to do is to take a look at uh, installing the, the front end side of our application, which is going to be using uh, Vue.js, this uh, standard view. So basically, all we have to do is just uh, do a view create. And what I also want to do is add beautify uh, JS. So when I head over to that website, we, but really and truly, all we have to do is just uh, say view create project, and then we do a, a view add beautify, and that will take care of that. Uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is that I just updated my npm. Let me just get this get go to get started, and I was having a bit of an issue. Uh, I don't know you can see here. When I was doing an npm install, I uh, can see that it was giving me this error. So what I did was I I cleared the cache because I had this thing installed for a very long time. I'm looking for where I did it. I did a force, here we go. So I did a force clear of the cache and uh, clean or whatever. And it, it started working better now. So as you can see, everything is still there. And I have updated to npm 4.4.6. So I'm gonna clear this, and I'm in the project folder that we're going to be using. So that's a management system uh, folder. So over here at beautify, you'll see uh, this is the command. As I said, view create uh, project, the project name, feed into the project, and then if you add beautify and what i wanted to do initially and i think that's what i'm going to actually do i'm going to go for the view ui since it is not working so i'm just going to do that i'm going to do it from the view ui which is a uh, simple one i haven't really touched into the view ui that much so that's something that I, that I think i'll consider just get right into it so i'll say view ui and then it should start All right, see so this has started. Uh, the thing is that one of the reasons why I won't be uh, using view UI that much, and I think that is because it is running on port 8000, and that is the port that the Laravel uh, backend will be using. I don't want to have to go and configure and change anything. I think it should automatically configure to a different port if that port is already taken, but I can't bother with this and, I, and we really don't need this, but we'll see what happens as uh, the videos progress, as the project progress. So I'm not going to wait for this to load. What I'm going to do is go and create, and then I'll click on create new project. And then we should get some other options. All right, so you can see we're in the folder here. So create, all right, here we go. So what I'm gonna call this is client. I think this is a standard that is used, client. And I think it's actually cool. So we're gonna work with that. I'm gonna change the package manager to NPM. That PNPM, I'm not so much sure of it. And uh, initialize a git repo, that's okay as well. I'm just gonna say first commit. And uh, next, we have some presets here I already have, but what I want to do is to just run through how we would add our, our some new ones. So we're gonna click on manually, or set feature or select features, but I had, these are the presets that, I, that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using anyways. So Bobby is already selected. Uh, I won't be using TypeScript. I was considering the progressive web application, but for like offline things, but we won't really, really need that right now. So we're not gonna trouble that. 
um, view uh, router, of course, and view X. So we're gonna probably need a store a linter. We're gonna need that for uh, formatting. I won't use any uh, CSS free processors, and I am going to use config files instead of one package.json file. So let's continue. And uh, I won't be using history mode. Uh, no, I won't be using history mode, so I won't be selecting that. And we're gonna save on lint and uh, linter. We're gonna use eslint at plus prettier for the format. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm not gonna save the presets because I think I already have the ready to go one is the same thing. So I'm just gonna click on continue without saving. And our project will start to create now. All right, so that took a minute, but I guess we're all uh, set now. It's almost uh, finished loading. Oh, I guess that's it. I can customize the thing here. Uh, the polar structure. Uh, I don't remember exactly if, if it will change. I don't think, but what I know, uh, not that, uh, we're going to add beautify now, but one of the things that you want to always remember to do is always add beautify as soon as possible because I think it, it gives some issues uh, to the router. I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly or, or the Buick store. So you want to ensure that you put those as soon as possible, as soon as you create the project, if you're going to be using them. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to search for, I think that's how it was here. You just search for it. So I'm going to type in beautify this and see if it comes up. All right, see, so I guess you had you gotta click on add. You gotta click on add, and then you can uh, you type beautify. You gotta click on add first, and So it doesn't seem to be working out well. All right, I think this is it. Beautify client plugin. Yeah, that's it. Uh, beautify CLI plugin. Here we go. So beautify CLI plugin. I'm gonna click on this here, and then you can just click on install from here. I know it's installing.
All right, so uh, I guess we're finished. I guess we have uh, this finished installation here. So I guess it's now invoking this thing, so. Alright, so I think this is it. And I don't think I'll ever do this again because this is taking too long. So I'm gonna click on continue and uh then I'll check the plugins and then I guess we should be finished. So if I go back to plugins now uh it's loading, so let's see. Alright, so now we have a view uh the viewify are uh, also installed. So that is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we'll look at probably connecting each uh, the front end to the back end or just look at how the view looks, the view the file looks on it. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.